we're gonna be replacing this awning fabric. It's old leaky and time to go. So the first thing is extend it a little bit, place some zip ties behind it, some long ones. We'll need them later. And um, extend it just a little bit so you can get up behind here and disconnect the motor and then push it in. Well, we'll get to that. Um, extend it so you can get to the motor wiring and then the next step. So with it extended a little bit, you can see the uh, connector here for the motor. Just reach back in here. I'm gonna need two hands and um, just disconnect this. Okay, so I got it separated. I wrapped a little wire tie around it so it wouldn't, I'm not sure if it will fall down this channel or not, but didn't want to deal with it uh, if it did. So I just put a sa uh, less safety wire strap on that bottom one and just simply separated that connector there. So now we're going to push both sides in and then wire tie uh, both components or whatever this channel is, this cover onto the, uh, the other parts here. Both sides are collapsed back in and zip tied in. And on both sides, this bolt will be there that needs to come out. I had to take all the zip ties out and move it out a little bit because I couldn't pin it when it was back there. I had to bring it out a little bit and it took a few minutes of trial and error and, and looking through the hole, but I was able to fit an Allen wrench through it to pin, pin the spring now. So, um, in fact, if I take this out, you should be able to see that little hole line up there. Like I said, it took some trial and error, but once that's pinned, now I'm gonna put the wire ties back on both sides, disconnect the motor. I had to reconnect the motor to, to bring it out a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna tape this so that, it, so that the pin stays in. Okay, those two bolts. Where, by the way, do you still have the bolt? Just put it over here. These came out of the top, and then it just lifted out. Had to, you know, take a, a mallet to loosen them up on either side. But then it just lifts straight out, and you roll it down. This side still has the pin in it. And now we need to take, I guess, that side off. This cap off. So we'll need to mark the motor's position to the um, tube so we can align it back up. And then this will be the awning side and the balance side. So we'll mark that A and V so that the new one goes on in the same orientation. The tube is the same orientation as when it came off. So here it is marked A for awning, V for balance, whatever it's called. And then I only had black, but I can see it fine. These are the two uh, marks on the motor. So when I take this cap off, so I'll drill these out next. One, two, I think this is probably the third one down there. Then this cap should come off with the motor. And then that'll allow us to pull the whole tube out of this old awning. Okay, those three rivets are uh, drilled out so we can pull the motor out. I'm gonna also take an opportunity before everything goes back together to replace these splice or whatever you call these connectors with actual uh, butt connectors and uh, seal them up because these are not the greatest type of connectors. So, so we'll just pull this out now. Okay, so there was a screw there that had to be taken out. Kim took it out that we suspect is holding the rear part in are certainly not helping us as we pull, try to pull the uh, fab out. We got it off, but yours might be a bit different than ours because we actually had some, what looks like damage here. And this was opened up. And I don't know if that's from factory or not, and there's a bunch of goop in here. But the white retaining uh, line, whatever you call it, that runs in here and holds the fabric in, was pulled out here a little bit. So I was able to actually just tug on that and it started pulling real easy. So I just did both sides and they came out 
right here cutting the cutting the fabric as I went it came out fairly easy but not sure that's the exact correct way to do this so I'm just gonna clean out all this crap in here and get the new one set up and see if um, we can repeat it and maybe install it from the correct end first and slide it all the way through here but something went on here from the previous owner. All right, so we got it on. We went in from the front side, just held down the gutter. We need to reseal it because it kind of unsealed a little bit, but we were able to feed it in, pull it all the way through, and it looks like it's just about a perfect fit. It's just barely covering this window over here, so that's what we kind of gauged it by. And uh, Kim's gonna go find a little screw that we can replace this with because this one's pretty um, crusty. But that'll go back up top around there somewhere and uh, hopefully, he you know, keep the um, front, you know, keep the orientation or the top from moving when we're messing around down here, getting the tube in. And we're gonna slide the tube in from this way, reverse from removal down, down the line. Okay, so we got new screws in, cap in. We're rolling it up now, and I redid the the ends here to hopefully be better. So now we're just gonna go place it up top. Okay, we got it up. So now we're gonna cut the zip ties, let it fall out a little bit, and I'll connect that motor. You wanna do the honors on that side? You'll have to take out the little key as well, but you can do that after it, uh, comes down a little bit it might jump out at you a little bit not I mean why are you taking one step down there, can you still reach him it'll only come out a little bit okay Go do these. Can I take the string thing out? Yeah. Get up in there and connect the uh, power cable again. I got. I gotta use two hands. All right, take number two. Extend. I think that's fully extended, more or less. All right, now the real test. Extend it again. The valus is getting cranked. All right, it's going in. Can it do it by itself? Seems good so far, keep going. Stop there for a second, and let me just clip off my safety one over here. Where'd my dikes go? 
Oh, they're up top of the roof. Okay, keep going. Up, go out a little bit. So the same problem where they're kind of like misaligned a little bit. No, I think, I mean, try one more click, but that should be it. Yeah, that's it. Cool. Mission accomplished.